Hi, I'm Maya Doubleday with Affiliated Steam and Hot Water, and today we're going to talk about good piping practices for how to install a spence valve. A common mistake when installing a spence valve is not having the proper pipe sizes or lengths to provide dry, non-turbulent steam flow to the downstream side. A good pressure reducing station should have a drip trap on the supply header with a full size takeoff to the valve with at least 10 pipe diameters of straight run pipe. Pipe sizes should be selected based on load and velocity of steam. On this takeoff into the valve, you should install your inlet pressure gauge, full size isolation valve, and a full size strainer with blowdown. If you have particularly wet steam, or this is on a food grade application, you will want to include a properly sized steam separator and a culinary filter. Both need to be properly trapped. Next, you will have your main E-valve with pilot. Leaving the pilot is the quarter inch control pipe, which should be pitched down and away from the main valve, at least 10 pipe diameters. If you are using a bypass valve, use a properly sized, high quality valve. Where your sensing line ties into your discharge piping, you will use an isolation valve, then a downstream pressure gauge. The discharge piping should be of the proper diameter for the steam velocity and be at least 20 pipe diameters of straight run and full size pipe before your low pressure steam header. The low pressure header will need a properly sized drip trap with strainer and an adequate dirt leg. I'm Matt Doubleday with Affiliated Steam and Hot Water and today I showed you how to install a spence valve with good piping practice. For more information, visit AffiliatedSteam.com today. Thank you.